Welcome to Digital Asset News. Take the top stories in cryptocurrency digital assets and break them down to bite-sized pieces. Today, we've got some positive news, but there's a lot of negative things swirling around in the Twitterverse and YouTube. But let's just stick with the positive first up. So we've got growing number of institutional investors are Ethereum first and Ethereum only, says crypto giant Grayscale. That makes me pretty bullish on Ethereum, especially with what's happening Ethereum 2.0. Also, Standard Charter, a British multinational bank, the CEO, Bill Wender, says that digital currency's widespread rollout is absolutely inevitable. And this is just more good stories about the institutions and actually even the banks who are starting to embrace cryptocurrency and digital assets. On top of banks, we've also got governments, but not in the best way. China is going to hand out $3 million worth of digital yuan as JD.com becomes the first online platform to accept it. So this is great as far as digital assets go, but it is China and it is their reserve bank currency. And the question has to get asked, is China beating every other country out there as far as adoption of cryptocurrencies and digital assets? So we're getting all that first, take a look at the market. So it's about 4 p.m. El Paso, Texas time it is December 7th and uh, you're getting a two for today. Uh, actually tonight in about uh, three or four hours, we're going to talk about the uh, digital asset news Cardano staking pool. That should be great. It's a premiere. It'll be happening at 7 p.m. Mountain Time. Little thing looks like this. So I will link that in the description of this video. But let's see what we got today. So going for the top 20 which is really what i care about uh bitcoin's down a little bit but it's still 19.1 so nothing's really happening and again uh this is when all the money's made when everything's moving sideways everybody gets bored they don't want to put any money in this is when you put money in this also the 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 really the best times when everything goes down but uh this is when people forget and they just go ah just leave it in the background i'll get it later this is not that time this is the time to really take a look at it and go you know what accumulate 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 that's exactly what I'm doing. Uh, Ethereum is also dropping uh, a little bit, uh, 0.7 down to 589. XRP, watch out, 60 cents. Looks like it's going to be around 60 cents for a while unless something major happens, but we'll see. Tether's tether, nobody cares. Uh, Litecoin, about 1.2% up, and uh, I think that's going to be one of the bigger uh, winners for the week because we'll see, especially with PayPal uh, pumping it. 1.1 uh, for Bitcoin SV, no idea why, but sure. Monero, 4.6, anything great? Nah, not really. 5.2 for OKB. Again, I don't care. So that is what is going on in the crypto space. Let's see how we would look if we compare that to not the US dollar, but to Bitcoin. So if you just would invest it in these projects, you might have beat Bitcoin. Well, Tether's Tether. Nobody, again, nobody cares. Litecoin, yeah, sure. 0.6, 1.3 for Bitcoin SV. Woo, look at that. Bitcoin SV beat Bitcoin. Wow. 4.0 for Monero and so on and so forth. So yeah, that's fantastic. And before we get into it, I've seen a lot of negative things about people uh, talking about different projects and things are going to you know, be sold off. It's going to be awful. That's the great thing about being a dollar cost averager uh, like me and you is that uh, I don't care. I, I mean, really, if, if, if things get sold off, I'm like, great. If the price goes up, I'm like, great. I just that's just how it works. It's fantastic. In 2017, I tried to time the market, try to trade, which is awful. And uh, now I've just been accumulating for like the last three years. It's like the easiest feeling in the world. It's great. And uh, either way it goes, uh, I'm happy. So let's jump into today's story and get into this. So first up, Grayscale is saying that people are buying Ethereum, institutions are buying Ethereum and Ethereum only. That to me is quite interesting. So what the heck is going on? Well, Grayscale is reporting that institutional investors are increasingly asking for exposure to smart contract Ethereum and sometimes only to Ethereum, which is kind of weird because when I've been talking to some people on the inside, they're like, hey, look, we people only want Bitcoin. That's all they really care about. But Grayscale is telling, saying the exact opposite. Like, you know what? They're coming in. I think what it is, they're probably coming in as institutions and going, well, we know crypto is going to be big and Bitcoin can only go up so much. And Ethereum has a tremendous upside uh, just to get to, you know, just to back to its all time high. So maybe that's what they're looking at. And on top of the fact that Ethereum 2.0 went off without a hitch, it's going to actually hit. And uh, I think it's going to be huge. It's look, it's either Cardano or, or, or uh, Ethereum. I don't know which one's going to be big or which one's going to be massive, but one of those is going to be the big, big winner. And the other one's just going to be a big winner. So whatever. So investment managing director Michael Sonnenschein said this. 
over the course of 2020, we're seeing a new group of investors who are Ethereum first, and in some cases, Ethereum only. There's a growing conviction around Ethereum as an asset class, and I have to agree because everything's built on Ethereum, so why wouldn't you do it? On top of that, you got everything you know going off in, in DeFi, and that's going to be a huge enterprise. So really, it is programmable money, and you can build everything on it. It's just like the, the protocol for email. You can build everything on that. That So it's the same thing with Ethereum. There's going to build and build and build. I think it's going to be massive. And that's why I've got, I mean, between Bitcoin and Ethereum, that's like 75% of my portfolio, honestly. Anyhow, during this year's Q3, the Grayscale Ethereum Trust has received weekly inflows of 15 million. So Q3 this year, 15 million. Compared with Q2's net inflows of 10.4 million and Q1's inflow of 8.5. So uh, every quarter, seems like people want Ethereum more and more and more. And it only accelerates as they see the success that it has. I was kind of worried with Ethereum 2.0 not being able to hit its milestones, but it did. And that was my big one. And now I'm just like, well, it's just going to go to the moon. So let's just keep putting money into it every single day. I put I dollar cost average into four cryptocurrencies right now. It is Bitcoin, Ethereum, Cardano, and Voyager. And I talked about why on my, on my Twitter account, but it only makes sense uh, for those four. And I think Voyager is going to be the sleeping giant. Anyhow, while Bitcoin has witnessed notable yearly gains, Ethereum is up over 360% on the year as the popularity of DeFi uh, can use to grow. So I was like, really? That's how much it is? I don't think that's true. So I took a look at CoinGecko and I went to Ethereum and I scrolled down and even farther. I took over the one year chart real quick and all the way back here, we're looking at January. Man, I, did, I totally forgot it was this low. I totally forgot. It was a hundred and can you imagine this? It was 130 bucks on the 1st of January. Imagine. And again, this is when everybody forgets and they sleep on it. Like, oh, I'll get it later. Or, it's not that exciting. And then it goes up and everybody starts buying and then the people sell off, they take profits. And then people right down here went, geez, it was 110. On March they're just like nah coronavirus not gonna go up and they don't do anything this is when all the money is made this is where all the suckers get played this is the money so now that it's going up I don't know what's gonna happen but I hope it dips again that's all I can say so let me know what you think in the comment section let's move on to our next piece